Hello, my name is Chris, and I'd like to welcome you to this very special edition of Faith Elements. This is kind of a how-to video on a budget kind of thing. You know, I, I, I like how-to Liz here on YouTube, and she does really good, well, maybe not so good how-to videos on different things, but I was kind of inspired by one of her videos, and it got me to thinking, hey, you know what, maybe we should do a how-to video on a budget. So, Liz, just, you know, hey, this is kind of for you, but... Not really, this is for everybody else that really wants to do this, but, you know, doesn't have a fancy computer, fancy camera, and all that stuff. So, I just want to assure you, this video is being shot on an iPhone, with the exception of the intro that you just saw, with the exception of that. Uh, this is all being shot on an iPhone, and will all will be edited on an iPhone using iMovie. So, let's just throw that out there. Alright, so we're talking about making videos for YouTube, and, uh, and, and one of the things I hear from people is that, you know, I'd like to do a video response, but I don't have any of those things, I don't have the equipment, I can't do those things. Well, this is a way for you to see that, you know, it's entirely possible to do this stuff on a phone. So, the first thing is... I have this phone and how do I how do I get the angle I want? How do I get the shot I want? You know, you want your video to be as steady as possible. Shaky video just stinks. So uh, what I did here, and as you can see in this mirror, I merely taped my iPhone to the end of my door that goes into this room here. And that allows me to pick the angle of the shot I want. And uh, the other thing I did, as you can see, uh, lighting is very important, as well as sound. Now, I can only do so much with a phone to, to uh, make the sound what it is. What I've done here is, yes, I've framed myself in what's called the rule of thirds, where I'm in a, you know, on one third of the uh, screen, I'm not dead in the middle. The other thing that allows me to do is the microphone is on this end of the phone, and therefore my voice is getting closer to the microphone and get less echo from the room and more direct audio to the microphone. But um, lighting, of course, what I did here, I moved a lamp over close to where I'm shooting. You can't see that here. That's just good lighting, and it's off of the camera. So um, let's talk about, though, transitions and stuff. You know, it's kind of fun to do different transitions and different things in on videos, and you can't always do that. Well, here, here, let's talk about this one. Let's do this. You ready? This is a way to do a fade-in if you don't have the technology to do that. First of all, I turn the screen off on my computer and watch this. You ready? Here's your fade-in. You ready? Here it comes. Ooh, cool fade-in, huh? How's that for a cool fade-in? All right, and, and of course you can do a fade-out too. All right, you know, ooh, or you can do a slow fade. And that's all using a uh, light switch with a dimmer on it. Um, let's talk about wipes. Let's say you wanted to do a cool transition where you wiped in and then went to a different shot. Wipe back off. Look at that. There's your wipes. All right, let's line that back up. Now let's talk about um, music. Let's say you want to have cool music in the background and you just can't afford to, um, to have somebody come in and play music for you. So if playing an instrument yourself or doing some sort of other fancy background music is impossible and you have a young child with a kazoo, that may be all you need to do fancy background music for your video. Now one other thing that people like to do is to do fancy little graphics or something down at the bottom to make their point and you know, you may not be able to, you know, like a little word or whatever, you may not be able to do that on your phone. So I, uh, I came up with an idea for that, you know, if you... Uh, if you really want to do that and and you have a roll of duct tape and a sharpie marker and your own chest you could say you know like example one then you know that you could make your point and then you could change that to example two and make your point and you know you know and so on you know duct tape man you know or maybe you could no that won't work okay and one final thing you might like to do is, you know, when you're trying to make a point, a biblical point especially, and you want to use a Bible verse to do that, and maybe you don't have any way of putting fancy text or, you know, the, the duct tape method would just be too much. You know, the focus rate on these, on these devices is pretty amazing. And you could put this right up here and you could say, hey, I want you to focus right there and maybe even be able to read it. Okay, maybe that's such, such, a, such a good idea, but... And, and, and what was that? You say you don't have a Bible. Well, you know what? I could take care of that issue if you would like. You know, if, if you just said, hey, you know, Chris, I like your idea there, but I don't have a Bible, 
would you write to me and tell me that? And, or, you know, reply down in the comments below or email me at uh, faithelements at yahoo.com and I will make sure that you get a Bible because, you know what, that's what I'm here for and, uh, you know, that's really why I made this video was to seek out a few people to see, hey, you know, is there anybody out there that would like a Bible that doesn't have one, doesn't know, you know, there's all these different translations to pick from and I don't know which one to get and all that stuff. Hey, you know what? Send me a line. Uh, you can hit me on Twitter at Faith Elements, or you can uh, email me at uh, faithelements at yahoo.com, or you know, send me a message here on YouTube. And uh, let's make that happen. Let's let's get Bibles into the hands of those people who would like to have them. Thank you for watching. And oh, I forgot one final thing. If you're if you if you're doing a video and you want to make a really good point, look at that fancy jump cut. Look at that another fancy jump cut. Look at that another fancy jump cut. So you know these are all ideas that I hope you can uh, implement into your YouTubing. And I just thank you for watching. Have a great day. You know I thought I wanted to do another ending. Let's do a fade out ending, huh? What do you say? Ooh, very dramatic. Thanks for watching. Okay, here's the last one I promised. Let's say you want to do one of those really cool, like, ethereal, kind of out-of-focus ending credit things like other people do on YouTube and you can't, like, afford it and stuff. Piece of scotch tape right here. Eh? There's your out-of-focus, really cool-looking ending credit video thing. Pretty cool, huh? Wow, look at that. It's really bright. Really blue. Blue and bright. Mm-hmm.